Well, Brad, another uh, critical game here down the stretch, and uh, the team comes out with nine goals. What do you think of that one? Yeah, I think that uh, we'll take the nine goals. It's been a long time since we scored that many goals. Um, but yeah, it was an important game for us, a game that we needed to have here tonight. And we needed to, with them being on a road trip here right now, we need to be the more energized team. And there was no excuse why we did not work them tonight. And I believe we did. Yeah, it seemed like Edmonton's kind of had your number this year. And somehow you were able to just really just pounce on them, hey? Yeah, I think that a lot of the games we had against Edmonton, I feel like we should have had better results just for whatever took our foot off the gas for six, seven minutes, two of those games. and. Uh, I felt we deserved better, but tonight we need a complete effort. We need 60 minutes. Obviously, it was a playoff implication game for us. So, uh, yeah, I just like the way that we responded. Yeah, going back to Calgary, you had to switch up the power play. What do you like with the five forwards out there? Uh, I think this is what we have going right now. Um, uh, just more or less uh, with Gibby going out. You know, we got Gibby out, Corbin out, Butchakowski out. So there's a lot of guys that would, you know, play in those spots. So right now, it's just next man up mentality for us and. Uh, Whatever spot's got to be filled, we just need someone to do it. Yeah. Why do you like uh, Whitehead back there on the point? Well, I think, it, you know, he, he's, he's a real intelligent person. Um, uh, he distributes the puck well. And a lot of the defense we have had, we didn't know, weren't really power play guys per se. And, and that's not that was their forte. So I think Whitey just controls the puck a little bit more up top. Um, and I don't know if it's the five forward or just we get a little more puck luck around the net. You know, we're scoring a lot of goals in the blue paint. And uh, that's where the goals need to be scored in the power play. How good was it to see Temple score tonight? Yeah, I think uh, Cole Temple has been a little snake bitten once in a while. You know, you see flashes of him being good and then other flashes of him just being a 16-year-old. Um, but yeah, just to him get on the board and just to see when he's with his peers and he's out with, uh, out with other teams that are, you know, about his caliber, he can play well and he can uh, stand out of there. And I believe his whole line, he played really well tonight. What have you seen from his game lately? Despite him not scoring, have you liked it? Has there, like you said, it's been kind of up and down a bit? Yeah, I think uh, it, it's, it's tough to evaluate sometimes because he's a smaller guy, he's a skilled player. So um, a lot of times when they don't get much time and space and there's, you know, they're trying to build confidence and courage at the same time. It's a, it's a tough combination to do. So um, I think for Cole, he's stuck with it, you know, through some tough times. He comes asking good questions. He's real receptive to learning. So to me, that's been the biggest thing. And um, it's been a rough patch here for a little bit. I know he hasn't got many points here lately. Hasn't scored in almost 30 games. So I know to get that off his, uh, you know, it's what I know it's what he wants to do. And to get that monkey off his back, I know it's going to be a good feeling for him. And Aremba, when you're hot, you're hot. Like that first goal, like you just get lucky, eh? Yeah, I think it's with Sammy. I think he's really put some simplicity into his game. And he's just using the skill set um, that makes him a difference maker in this league and it's just straight line stops and starts speed pushing the pucks to the net and when he gets less ziggy zagging he starts playing the straight lines and him and anthony wilson boy those two guys the speed that they can play with their tough guys to stop well sam nine goals tonight uh, in a critical game what do you think of the team's play tonight uh, i thought we played almost a really good full 60 i thought we had 55 good minutes and i don't know i thought the last five we kind of got away from our game there as they kind of got behind us and scored so um, but it was it was a lot better effort tonight and that's two in a row that we need right now and at this time of year so we got to keep on building for it for Tuesday. Was that game in Calgary kind of just a, a step towards this game tonight? Yeah I think so I think the boys have I guess you could say bonded more and kind of glued together so um, and I think you can tell like when we scored nine tonight and the other game there was five right so uh, obviously something's going well if you're scoring that many so uh, Obviously, it's a big part group. And for you, you've really found a hot streak here. Uh, and then when you're lucky, when you're good, you're lucky, and you get that first one. Like, is that just the way it's going right now for you? Yeah, that was a pretty nice bounce. Um, I mean, if you're going on the net, sometimes you're going to get those bounces, and I've got quite a few of those lately. So uh, I'm not going to say no to them because the, uh, they still feel pretty good. But uh, yeah, they're, uh, I guess you could say, a little bit lucky, but you got to be good to be lucky, as you said. You know, Brad said, He's trying to work on you, just kind of simplistic game for you. Is, is that kind of what's happening lately here for you? Yeah, I, I definitely think for my type of uh, body and frame that keeping it simple and getting towards the net is something that uh, I've definitely needed to work on. And I think it's definitely helped for myself. Uh, as we can tell, and getting in the net is a big part, not just for myself, but for everyone. So it's uh, paid off well. Well, Cole, finally on the board. It's been a while, but how did that feel? 
felt good, especially you know for me. But I think it was, you know, I was pretty pumped to just help out the team and you know put some goals up on the board to help the win. Yeah, these have been two. These last two games here have been pretty critical games, and you guys have found a way to score quite a bit lately. What's kind of clicking for you guys? I think just our you know team love, everyone building together, um, wanting to you know push for a playoff spot and uh, you know play our best every night, and you know getting these two wins. You know, the one in Calgary and then now this one in Edmonton is really good for us and we're going to keep pushing to that playoff spot. You, it's been, like I said, it's been a, it's been a tough go here lately, but Brad said, you know, you've been receptive to, to guidance and stuff and how, how are you working through that? Yeah, it was, it was tough for a bit, but, um, you know, just every night just trying to help out the team as much as I can, uh, even without the scoring. Um, but it's really nice to see those finally go in tonight and I'm pretty pumped about it. Yeah. What do you kind of work on when you're not scoring? Like what's kind of in the back of your mind just kind of working with? I just, you know, I don't let it, you know, get to me too much. I just, you know, every practice I'm, you know, trying to get better as much as I can and, you know, do as much as I can to come out flying the next game. Yeah, it is your first year, but how do you think it's gone so far for you? I, you know, I think it's been a really good, you know, experience for me. Uh, just seeing what the league's about and just the, you know the pace of play, uh, you know the bigger, stronger guys. So I think that um, you know it was a good. It's been good experience for me so far. Is that good?